major patent war kicking off today between Apple and Samsung. Apple is alleging that Samsung smartphones and computer tablets are illegal knockoffs of the iPhone and the iPad products. Okay, so Apple's demanding two and a half billion with the B dollars in damages. Richard Ehrlichman is the IP offerings founder and president, and he joins us to explain why he thinks Apple has the upper hand. Welcome, Rich. First, I'm curious, have you seen the Samsung products or the models? Or I mean, is it a true knockoff in your view? Well, that is absolutely the crux and the fundamental of this litigation, that the belief is Samsung has copied the iPhone and the iPad, which really revolutionized the sure. smartphone and the tablet industry and really set the... Um, goals for everyone who's in that competitive space. So Apple not settling because they want this two and a half billion dollar damages in damages, right? Correct. Apple doesn't need obviously two and a half billion dollars. So is this about sending a message the way that this is transpired? A absolutely. Um, my view of this is you've got the two largest players in the smartphone space, Apple and Samsung. It's clear that Apple has spent a significant amount of money in R&D and they want to protect their product and take it, use it as a competitive advantage. They obtain a huge premium of margin and profit from their products and the belief by Apple and I would say that they have the better of the argument that Samsung did in feel copy the look and feel of the iPhone and the iPad. So that's the crux of this litigation. So Apple's job during this litigation is to simplify that, to ensure that the jury understands in as simplest terms as possible why Apple believes Samsung has infringed their patents in addition to just copying the look and feel. But why wouldn't they settle out of court for this? I mean, Apple just settled with the Chinese. That went on for years. That was a huge over the iPad trademark in China. Why not just do this outside of court? Why take the chance? Excellent point. Um, I was with IBM for 30 years and our goal in most of these instances was to absolutely, especially when you're dealing with two what I say is we're in the Olympics of the patent wars with this litigation. That you've got two titans in this industry that both have thousands of patents and in the past the model had been to negotiate, compare who has the better of the total portfolio and specific targeting products and revenues and then one side would pay the other millions of dollars for a settlement and I really believe as it was stated earlier, we have now shifted from M to B, from millions to sure. billions. So do you that's, think that's how this is going to wrap well, up? You well, said Apple has the upper hand. What well, do you think the ultimate settlement? Well, or clearly, fine, if I might just, that's one element. The other truly is, has been stated, that Apple feels that they, their patents have, and their products have absolutely been infringed and for the moment are taking it to the mat. Mm -hmm. Uh, again, as I mentioned, I believe that Apple has the better of the arguments. They have to prove it in court. What does There's that mean in dollars and cents? Two and a half billion? Uh, I think a settlement that might be approaching a billion. Okay. Thank you. I didn't mean to interrupt you. We're, we're always on a time clock right. around here. So. It's my pleasure. It's our pleasure to have you, Richard. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you very Richard much. Richard Orkland, of course, the IP offerings founder and president.